Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm going to speak more at the micro level about animation as a neglected competency in Ireland. Hopefully what I have to say doesn't uh, completely ignore the three questions outlined by the Chair. Um, I work at the Irish School of Animation, Ballyferma College of Further Education, which has an impressive history and tradition in the delivery of animation programmes dating all the way back to the late 1980s when the US studio Sullivan Bluth set up in Ireland and made wonderful 2D animation features like The Land Before Time and All Dogs Go to Heaven. Since that time, the college has continued to deliver animation programmes and alumni have played a vital role in the development of Ireland's hugely successful and growing animation sector. Many of our animation graduates have also achieved international acclaim with nominations and awards like Academy Awards, BAFTAs, Emmys, Annies and IFTAs. It's an impressive legacy. However, when I was initially approached to participate in this conference, uh, although appreciative of the invitation, my initial reaction was why? For two reasons. I'll come to the second reason later, but the first reason I queried the invitation was this. Is animation actually part of humanities social sciences at all? Animation is a discipline that is difficult to categorise. And this at times is a strength and at other times a weakness. What is animation? Is it an art form? Is it media? Is it technology? Is it a science? And what does animation as a competency encompass? Well, it involves biology, anatomy, physics, technology, art, design, acting, drama, music, creative writing, and so on. Animation, or because animation is a multifaceted discipline that resists categorization, it can make it a difficult sell from a funding perspective. Where do you go? The Arts Council, the Irish Film Board, the HEA, Science Foundation Ireland. Animation projects often acknowledged as important and necessary sometimes just don't fit the criteria of funding agencies and this can be incredibly frustrating. Should animation be funded? Yes, absolutely. It's a huge growth area in terms of jobs, not only in Ireland, but in Europe and globally. It has obvious links to other growth areas like games, visual effects, app development, visualization, and medical animation. It promotes cross-pollination, cross-disciplinary activity across science, technology, arts, and media. And of course, it's hugely important culturally, socially, and economically. If you look at the top grossing films globally for the last number of years, the vast majority of them are either completely animated, like Finding Nemo and Shrek, or VFX heavy films with animated characters like Lord of the Rings and Avatar. The amount of animated features released has also increased steadily year on year, from around 50 in 1995, when the first computer animation Toy Story was released, to 150 in 2012. But animation is not just about blockbusters or TV for children. Animation can be for adults too. It can be subtle, emotionally charged, and culturally and socially significant, often dealing with important and complex issues. You need look no further than animations like Persepolis, Waltz with Bashir, Wall-E, and The Simpsons for evidence of this. Animation is important because it's essentially a type of storytelling, and we all know the importance of storytelling. Indeed, the author Philip Pullman goes as far as to say, after nourishment, shelter and companionship, stories are the things we need most in the world. Storytelling is essential for reflective societies. It's true story that we not only learn about the world, but learn about how to be in the world. And storytelling can lead to connection and inclusiveness in society too. As the screenwriter Robert McKee says, Story is the currency of human contact. But animation is not just storytelling. It's visual storytelling, created and drawn, quite literally, from our imagination. And the importance of drawing pictures to human society, as we know, goes back to our very beginnings. Making drawings move to communicate our ideas, thoughts and emotions, to tell our stories and to entertain and educate our children is vitally important to society. And animation, more obviously than most other mediums, strikes a chord with the most inquisitive of minds, our preschool children, our future generations. And future research must identify innovative ways to tell visual stories to these future generations using animation, games, visual effects, mobile devices, and so on. Though the importance of animation, culturally, socially, and economically, is abundantly clear to me, this importance is not necessarily reflected in funding for animation education, training, and research, particularly here in Ireland. 
In my opening remarks, I mentioned my surprise at being invited here today for two reasons. The second reason is where I work. I work for Ballyferma College of Further Education. Further education, not higher education. The college's achievements and the achievements of its animation alumni in particular, in particular are remarkable. And they are particularly remarkable given the way the college is funded, effectively like a second level school with no research division, no grants, no Leonardo or Erasmus funding, no EI innovation vouchers and so on. Ballyferma College's Irish School of Animation, like animation education, training and research in Ireland generally, has also fallen through the cracks. Animation is a neglected competency in this country. There are only currently two animation degree undergrad courses here in Ireland, one at IADT Dunleary and one at Ballyferma College, which is actually validated by a university in the UK. There are no postgrad courses in animation in Ireland, no undergrad or postgrad courses in visual effects. In fact, there's very little research activity going on in this space. Given what Ireland has achieved in terms of its animation industry and what could be achieved in related areas like games and visual effects, this is an astounding deficit and perhaps will prove to be a stumbling block to the maturation of the sector. Part of the problem is perhaps that animation like games is a young, is a young competency and also like games, animation is difficult to categorise and therefore perhaps misunderstood. Is it art or technology, theory or practice, education or training for adults or for children? When something doesn't fit neatly in a box, it can get left behind. But animation must not be left behind. It is vitally important culturally, socially and economically, and this case needs to be made. I'd like to finish up with a case study. In 2010, I helped to establish the Animation Hub, a partnership between Ballyferma College, Trinity College and Giant Animation Studios. The aim of the Hub is to create professional projects that see animation students collaborate with students from Trinity in areas like computer science, motion capture, drama, music and creative writing on the professional guidance of Giant Animation Studios. The first Animation Hub project, a short called The Last Train, was completed in 2011 and went on to be nominated for an IFTA award and was selected in competition at the prestigious Annecy Animation Festival in France. The latest Animation Hub project, a short animation called The Jewel, is currently in production with Sir Terry Pratchett integrally involved as an executive producer. This project invo involves a world-renowned storyteller, industry professionals, academic staff, postgrad researchers and undergrads from numerous competencies. It encourages cross-disciplinary research, it enhances the employability of the participants, it ticks so many positive boxes from an education and research point of view, yet the majority of the funding for the project came from the Irish Film Board. This to me seems wrong. The Irish government has put sectors like games and animation at the forefront of its future plans in terms of economic growth, exports, future skills and job creation, and rightly so. It was heartening to see the tax incentive section 481 retained and expanded in the last budget. This will help the sector to compete and grow. But at ground level, uh, at an institution like the Irish School of Animation, the joined up thinking is less obvious. You know, where are the specific targeted investment in animation, education and training? My hope is that animation will become a key competency for future funding and that institutions like the Irish School of Animation will be consulted in terms of future policy development. Investment in innovative projects is key no matter how and where they happen. Investment in creative practice is key, whether it has immediate or future, known or as yet unknown, social, economic or cultural significance. Inclusion of key stakeholders in policy decisions is key, no matter where they come from. And funding of institutions that deliver excellence is key, especially when the box doesn't fit. Thanks. <laughs>